Well, here we are in Kansas and it's too cold outside to record outside, so we're inside and we have one more visit with friends and then it's back in northern Minnesota. Well, one time when I was with my mom and my dad, I was complaining about some stupid things that were going on at my job. And my dad said, do you know what burns my butt? And I said, no. And he said, oh, fire about that high. And then my mom chimed in and she said, Alan, have you ever lived through a Great Depression when you didn't know if there was going to be money to buy food? And did you ever live through a Great War where you weren't sure you would ever see a loved one again? She says, no, you have no reason to complain. And the thought of this week is no complaining. And God has really been convicting me this week that in fact, I've been complaining more than I should. Furthermore, he's convicted me that complaining is a really bad thing. Now, to be sure, you're going to have difficulties in your life and you have two choices in those difficulties. You can fix them or you can learn to live with them, but you shouldn't complain about them. Remember the serenity prayer. Well, I want to give you five reasons that you shouldn't complain. Number one, complaining zaps my joy and my peace. Thanksgiving gives you joy and peace, but thanks, but complaining zaps you of your joy and peace. I think it drives you away from God, and that's what the problem is. Number two, people don't like to be around complainers. Enough said there. Number th three, Grumbling leads to anger. You start saying, oh, I have the right to be angry because all those things are going on. Now. And that is a bad thing because bad things happen out of anger. Number four, complaining incites others to complain. And when you get people complaining, it leads to division. And division is a really, really bad thing. You know, this happens all the time, I think, in, in Jesus' church. Complaining and grumbling leads to more complaining. And, uh, you know, I think our politicians have taken this and used this complaining as a fine art, and it's dividing our country. Well, number five, complaining makes us forget about the good things that God has given us. And I think that's what happened to Israel when they were doing their wandering in the desert and they, they were grumbling, and God was very displeased with them for the grumbling, I think because they forgot the good things that he was doing for them. Well, here's your assignment for this week, should you choose to accept it. I want you to look for times in your life when you're grumbling. And then instead of doing that grumbling, be thankful and think about the good things that God has given you in your life and uh, figure out ways to fix whatever problems making you grumble or learn to accept it. Remember my mom's words. Have you ever lived through a Great Depression where you didn't know if you're going to have enough money to buy food? Or have you ever lived through a Great War and you didn't know whether someone you loved would ever see them again? Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Aloha. See you there. If you enjoy these videos, please pass them on to somebody else.